Lincoln, over here. The Padre doesn't seem too keen on the plan. You don't need to worry about him. I'd just hate to encounter any of that Catholic guilt I'm always hearing about. He knows every low-life thing I've ever done and has never ratted me out. If I say we can trust him, we can trust him. Fair enough. So you mind telling me what we're really doing? We're gonna kill Marcado and all the assholes who work for him. Bullshit. If that's all you're after, you'd grab an XM-21, smear on some face paint, and they'd all be dead before dinner. And you sure as hell wouldn't need a tack up center and all this other shit you've asked me for. After I got back, Marcano offered me the hollow, said it was time for Sammy to retire. I told him no. So you think what happened is your fault? Hard to see it otherwise. <laughs> what do you think Sal was going to do? Host a little party for Sammy? Maybe give him a gold watch and a plaque congratulating him on his retirement? We both know there's only one way out of the life. And you still haven't answered my question. I'm gonna take over the city, district by district. Marcano wanted me to run the hollow? Fuck him. By the time I'm done, I'll be running the whole goddamn city. <laughs> That's exactly what I wanted to hear. Assuming, of course, you're up for something that strenuous. How the fuck wouldn't I be? Oh, I don't know. Maybe because you got shot in the face? I might have lost a step or two, but it'll come back to me. Always does. God, if that isn't the fucking truth. One other thing. Probably not much of a surprise, but most of the cops in this town are in Sal's pocket. Yeah, kind of always assume that. Just being diligent. The cops see you fighting Sal's goons. They're coming after you, every time. Sure you don't need a ride? Nah, man, I'm good. I'll be at the motel. Come see me when you're ready. Yes, 
say this is a bad idea. A lot of boys dying over there in Vietnam. There's something I gotta do. Uh, I ever tell you how I got this? Sure, you stole it. That idea, here. Yeah. the pocket of this old white man used to come around here raising him. Take this with you. It's always brought me good luck. I can't do that. I know you think you're alone in this world, Lincoln. No, but you're not. You never will be. No, hot in the hot. Damn hot. But I'm not talking about the temperature neither. That too. This is the hollow speak. Tonight we're talking about the hollow zone. Sammy Robinson. Not just the leader.
<laughs> you weren't lying about setting up a tax center. The key to running a successful black bag operation is plausible deniability. Which is why I stole all this shit from the FBI. <laughs> Things go tits up, those chicken dicks can deal with the fallout. Glad to see you haven't lost your touch. <laughs> if there's one thing I'm good at, it's fucking with Hoover's Ferry Brigade. And while you were convalescing, I did some digging around. Wanted to see if there are any local assets for you to recruit. I came up with three possibilities. Right now, my priority is getting the hollow out from whoever ended up with it. Figured as much. Patience? Well, I thought they fell apart after I put Baca down. Lucky for us, they're back up. And they're none too pleased that Sal gave Delray Hollow to the Dixie Mafia. Dixie Mafia? Georgie's idea. He's got him running heroin, trying to get everybody hooked. Motherfucker. I'll be damned if I let those coon asses destroy everything that Sammy built up. Who replaced Baca? Unknown. Managed to keep his identity a secret. Unknown? Even to John Donovan? Never thought I'd see the day. Well, I can't help it if I was born pigmentally challenged. So, you telling me my only option is to tail one of these Haitians? Hope he leads me back to the mysterious leader? Hey, it's better than no options. And once you've ingratiated yourself with them, you come see me. I'm finishing something up you're gonna want to see.
So I'm driving along listening to old Johnny. And this motherfucker comes on and takes over the whole goddamn station. Now yeah, I gotta listen to nigga music. Hippie music. All I kinds of bullshit. Oh, you can always turn it off. But it's my goddamn radio. It's some mystery nigga radio. <laughs> I forgot you was born and raised here, too. Let me give you some of this mm -hmm. money. Fall generation. And I'm serious. The place Mighty went to was the best. They made A2 pay just like my mama. I bet her gumbo was good, too, huh? Oh, boy. Her gumbo, her jambalaya, red beans and rice. My mama can't cook for shit. Never could. Must be why you ain't much skin on this boat. What time you get off? Words like loyalty and tradition they don't speak to them. No, no, they're moldy old ideas. Same with God. So too this country and the discard it. Because these young folks see the cost of these things and they can't stomach it. So let's welcome our heroes home. Let's serve them a nice home-cooked meal. Let's thank them for all... If we can get every black mother on our side and showing up to the rallies, there's no way they can ignore us. Whatever. Heard they're flying James L. Ray back this week. Still amazes me they expect us to believe it was one man who did end Dr. King. It's too easy. Too bad. Let's say he was the one who shot Dr. King. Just him and no one else. What if it's really that easy to strike down a great man like Dr. King, President Kennedy, Brother Malcolm? Then nothing in this country will ever change. Now you struggle and you sweat and someone can take it all away just like that. is how much these crackers love black pussy. These crackers love enslaving African women. Let's get that straight. I believe it's lost. We all want Dixie out of the hollow. Give me your boss and I'll make it happen. Fuck. Shit. Get to the voodoo shop. You'll find the boss there. Sorry about the headache, brother.
Some bitch right there. Maybe he's over here. Hunting's in our... Well, now we can go get fucked up, Dan. Done, gone somewhere. Hey, here. Yeah. Keep looking. Okay, here somewhere. I know it. Coffee? Nice trick you pulled back at the Haitian camp. Tenen Baca was holding you prisoner. And I yelled, you are dead. It appears we both full of surprises. Certainly does. <laughs> what can I do for you, Lincoln Clay? I want you to help me kill Sal Marcano. I see. A few months ago, you was trying to kill me. Now you break in here and expect me to trust you? Now that Marcano's backing the Dixie Mafia, it's only a matter of time till they come for you. And when they do, they'll kill everyone standing in their way. Lest I hitch my horse to your wagon, so to speak. I'll see to it that you get the hollow. After that, depends on how things shake out. Do you know why Sammy and I were at war? On account of you going after the lottery? Please. Just because you don't want to face some uncomfortable truths ain't a reason to act naive. Sam and I were fighting because the people in Dahala deserve better than a two-faced old man who handed out cans of food whenever the mood hit him. 
who always did what Sal Marcana told him to do, even if it pitted him against his own people. He did the best he could. And yet his best didn't amount to much, did it? Once I have the holler, I run it as I see fit. No questions asked. As long as you give me access to your muscle, your connections, and a place to hold up from time to time, you can do what you want. Marcana replaced Sammy with a man named Richie Doucette. Do you know of him? Assume he's Dixie Mafia. He's a wooster! Likes to kidnap black teenagers and take them out to the bayou. After starving them for a few days, he cuts them loose, tells them to run. Sometimes he brings out the dogs, you know, for old time's sake. That's... That's how he killed my sister. This is all I have left. How do I find it? It's still dangerous around here for him, so he stays on the move. But his men operate out of the community church in the old theater, Pearl, as it used to be called. It was named after Sammy's wife. I'm taking it down first. One of my men have been staking it out. Seeing what he can learn about how it's being run, you should talk to him and see what he knows. Once I deal with it, I'll see about the church. shooting the hell out of white folks or some such. Motherfuckers. Tell me about it. Let me know if you see something you want. You were sight for so eyes. Laveau, been a while. Wasn't expecting to see you working with the Haitians. It's either this or bow down to them fucking coon asses, and you know I ain't ever been one to bow down to anyone. 
<laughs> Ain't that the goddamn truth? Cassandra phoned her head. Say you going out to Perlis. Asshole named Merle Jackson runs it. Turned it into a brothel. Let's white fellas come in and do whatever they want to our young sisters. How do I get to them? You don't. Not yet, anyway. A lot of those Dixie fucks try to stay out of sight. There's someone put a bullet up their ass. If I hit his operations, he'll have to come out and deal with me. I got an idea how to get his attention. He got some girls locked up on the second floor of Perlis. Calls them his thoroughbreds. Has them strung out on all kind of shit. He makes a lot of money off them. Go in there quiet. Get them out of there. I'll let you know when it's done. Hey, uh, I'm sorry to hear about Sammy Nellis. They always did right by me. Show me what you got. Psst, hey! Mr. Laveau told me you'd be coming. The girls are upstairs. Be careful. Merle's people are all over the place. I will. Thanks. Out of the uh, way. Excuse yourself. We got no problems. Keep it that way. This here is what they call a second chance. Now get her off. You can't beat me, boy. No way in hell. Fucking weird.
took it far beaten, sir. Ma'am. you're out of here, go see Cassandra at the pierced heart. She'll help you. Spread the word. Any woman needing help should go to the pierced heart. Thank, thank you. Brother, brother, calm down. You have to use a lighter touch, is all. Well, where am I? Huh?
I got a little something for you. You've been running around so much out there, I figured I'd make your life a little easier. You can use this to call on your support. And here I was thinking you were a heartless asshole. Mm, Jerry's still out on that one. Lincoln, you a sight for so eyes. I freed those women. God damn if that place in the hellhole. Paint you to see what those redneck fucks are doing, doesn't it? Soon as I get my hands on Jackson, that all comes to an end. Merle's got pimps scattered around the hollow. Is leaning on them to make up for what he's lost. Kill them, and he'll show up at the club. All right. When you're dealt with them, come back. I'll be able to confirm that Merle's over at the club. I think he's over. Thank you. 
still friendly. Get while I'm still friendly. Thank you. You were sad. So I Merle's hold up over at Perlis. What I hear, he's pissed as all hell. <laughs> Wish I could see that asshole's face right about now. Just so we're on the same page. Once I'm in there, I'm killing any motherfucker who gets in my way. Ain't no one shedding tears for those pricks. You do what you think's best. I'll be seeing you, Laveau.
could use some supplies. Heard you were the man to talk to. Cassandra said you might be calling. I'm happy to help, but I ain't running no charity either. Everything you see is for sale. Show me what you got. I'll be... This is done. You know how to find me. Come on, Taillet. Still can't believe one of those jigaboo motherfuckers has the balls to come after us. Huh? You ought to be scared. What? We need an ambulance down here right away. some of our best girls. You get that dope in them, they suck a potato out of a tailpipe. Wasn't all. He killed Doc, too. Oh, fuck him. Any idiot can work a needle. But getting someone to work a cock? Oh, that's another story. Yes, sir. Run that motherfucker out of here. He's got me pinned! Well, what you gonna do, nigger? This. Dixie motherfuckers are out of pearlers. Have your men come lock it down. Good. I'll send some men over to see to the place. Run those Dixie motherfuckers out of the church, and Richie will have to respond.
In uh, 1966, the FBI recruited me out of college. Uh, Chicago was my first assignment, but I was transferred down south in 68. I stayed there until 86, uh, when I was promoted to uh, assistant director of the criminal enterprise branch. I stayed with the Bureau until my retirement in 1999. There are so many stories about Cassandra. Um, as a girl, she was kidnapped, killed, and brought back to life by a voodoo priest. She watched swamp rats rape and murder her sister. She shot her own father and dumped his body in the swamps. It's impossible to know what's true. Thank you. 